Hello friends, today I will teach you how to make an animation from a video with stable diffusion. Necessary materials. 1. A video. Sorry if you don't like this kind of silly TikTok videos, but I just took it as an example. 2. A video editor. I will use the free program DaVinci Resolve. 3. Of course. Stable diffusion. In this video, I will not explain how to search and download these programs including Stable Diffusion. Soon I will make a video on how to run Stable Diffusion on your PC. Getting the frames. In DaVinci Resolve it is very easy to obtain the frames of a video. Import your video to your timeline, and second click on it and choose the option Open in Merge Page. In this section select the media in, and press Shift, Space to open the tool selector and select Saver. Now select the Saver node and click the Browse button. Choose a folder, a name, and finally it is important that you put the PNG format. Now just go to the Merge tab, and click on Render All Savers. It will automatically start exporting frame by frame in your selected folder. Now I must clarify that for this video I personally prefer to use a modified model of Stable Diffusion, called Waifu Diffusion, which is based on Stable Diffusion 1.4 and specializes in creating cute girls. I'll leave a link to his Hugging Face page in the description. The use of this other model is not mandatory, you can try it with the original model. Applying Super Stable Diffusion Once we have our frames ready, in the IMG2 IMG section we place our desired prompt and negative prompt. If you got thousands of frames as in my case I recommend using Batch IMG2 IMG. In this section put the address of your frames folder, and in the output your output folder. I have the sample steps set to 20 and the sampling methods set to all array. I apply the dimensions most similar to those of the original video. Always apply the Restore Face option. For the CFG value I'll leave it at 11 for some creative results. Set the denoising scale to a low number to have images more faithful to the original of the video. In my case I will leave it at 0.2. Defines a fixed seed to always get similar results. And now we just have to generate and wait. Converting frames to video. Once we have all the frames ready, we will convert them to video with DaVinci Resolve in a very easy way. Just go to the folder where all the frames are, press Ctrl E to select all the images and then drag them to the timeline of the editing section. And ready we already have our frames ordered in a video that we can export. Follow me for more amazing tutorials on stable diffusion and artificial intelligence.